Hey guys, Patronix123 here, and today we're here for another episode of Sonic Colors. In the first episode, we kind of got through the first couple levels of the game. We did level one, we found out that Eggman has his whole interstellar amusement park, and that's what we are in in the current place, and we are kind of seeing that for whatever reason they're capturing some sort of aliens, and we kind of need to try and get to the bottom of that with our hero Sonic and Tails. So we're going to keep on going through here, and before we start, the question of the Dene is... Who do you prefer, Sonic, Tails, or Eggman? Which of the three of those characters are your favorite? So, that, just remember, answer that question of the Dene, which is our question of the day, for those of you who are new around here, in the comments below, and I'll be able to see it. I'd love to talk with you guys, as you guys already know, but let's just jump right into Act 5, because that's where we left off in the last episode. So, we are still in Tropical Resort, obviously, and we are just moving on to Act 5. Um, let's see. Yep. Here we go. Alright, so this is a 2D level. I don't remember all the levels in this game down pad. It has been a while since I played it. And, oh, we got more of this this laser alien from the last episode. So, let's see. Oh, wait. You know what? Let's not let's not go for those targets. I, I was I was going back to see if I can uh, grab those targets or anything, but I don't think it's going to matter too much. So, let's just let's just keep going. It, there we go. I think me uh, stopping there to even consider getting those targets may have impeded my rank, but whatever. Let's just let's just keep going. The main point of this level is to utilize the laser wisp. It seems I'm not entirely sure, but I mean I'm able to observe things correctly, which I hope I would be able to. It seems. Oh God! Camera angles. Uh, camera angles in Sonic games are always great, unless it's during gameplay, and then it kind of screws you over. But when it's a cinematic segment like that, it's oh whatever no. no. Okay, I guess we aren't getting that today. Uh, all right, let's just go up here then. And woo! Whoop, doo -doo. All right, so it seems like we need to follow. Uh, no, 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 no. I mean, I guess that works. I suppose that works. <laughs> I wasn't even meaning for that because I, uh, when I jumped, I meant to do a double jump, but I accidentally uh, did a homing attack and moved over there and the wisp activated when I touched the ground so I mean I was still able to go there and I at least got one red ring in that level but whatever I guess laser just had its own it had a mind of its own I mean it is its own creature so I guess that's a thing these aliens are their own beings it's not like they're just it's not like they're only power-ups man <laughs> give rights to the aliens man <laughs> all right <laughs> let's just move on to act six and uh, one thing I'd like to mention, in the last episode, um, in the very beginning, like the first cutscene and everything, uh, Sonic was, uh, or no, Tails was mentioning how uh, this being an evil plot, he found that hard to believe or whatever, or he just was doubtful about it, which, oh, I did not even, there's a part of my computer screen that blocks that corner of the screen, and so I did not even see that spring there for a second. <laughs> but um, anyways, as I was saying, um, I, I, I don't know what Tails is thinking, but I... I why would he ever trust Eggman to do anything, like, that's not evil? Like, cause he's no- Tails has definitely known Eggman for a long enough time to know that you can't trust him. Unless the like, world's- the entire world's in danger, like, in Sonic Adventure 2, or Sonic, uh, Heroes, or even Sonic 06. You, uh, unless it's something like that, you shouldn't trust Eggman, so... I don't know what Tails is thinking, but, I mean, we'll have, we'll have to see exactly what unfolds here. But this level, it's- it's pretty standard 2D platforming one. It look- this is looking to be a very easy one for the red rings, so, um, yeah, it shouldn't take too much effort to grab those. Uh, okay, I couldn't reach it, I just wanted to say. Uh, nope, alright, this is not, uh, Sonic Lost World, I can't parkour my way around, but it's okay, it's okay. I don't need- I don't need Sonic Lost World parkour. That was not the best implemented anyway. <laughs> I will get it. I don't care if it costs me my good rank, it's right there. Like, I'm not hunting for the red rings, but if they're right there, I'm gonna get it. And that is a philosophy that will get you killed in Sonic Lost World, speaking of that game. So, um, don't ever go for red rings in that game. Unless you want to, uh, to torture yourself. It's not the best idea. Whatever, let's just, let's just clear this level. Let's get out of my Sonic Lost World rambling. Save that for the playthrough. Come on. Okay, okay, at least I didn't get a D. Okay. I know I could have gotten a much better rank if I had just gone to the goal. But I'm sorry, guys. I wanted that red ring. This this is not an Xbox. We want the red ring. We we want it. It's not an Xbox. It's, it's a Nintendo Wii. Even though I technically played it on my Wii U, but you know you guys get the point. This still is a Wii game. It's not like it's not just because I'm playing it on the Wii U. So we hey we got two A's, we got two B's, and we got two C's. If we get a D on this next one. It's gonna round it out, but. You know, let's actually, let's, let's be positive and say we get a, uh, an S rank in this one. It's the boss level, and 
I'll just let you guys see the boss. 23, 24, 25... Ah! Not nearly enough aliens! Want us to get more? No, I want you to get me a cheeseburger and a shake! That'll be easier! Cheeseburgers don't run as fast as them little alien varmints! Idiot! Get me more aliens! Y'all want fries with that? Go! Oh, I reckon that hurt a bit. Wait a minute, I need to go over yonder. Sorry. Hmm. Precious little aliens! I'll harness their hyper go on power, and then nothing will stop me! I know I say that every time, but this time, really, nothing will stop me! <laughs> Moss? What? Sonic! Who are you calling nothing? Huh? He means since the boss said nothing will stop me, and Sonic here is going to stop him, it's like the boss was calling Sonic nothing. Great! I thought nobody would get that. Fine. You're so smart, robot. You take care of this mess. Release the big boy! At least I know he won't screw it up. Hasta la bye bye, suckers! <laughs> It's time for me to start stopping. Oh. I get it. So here we are on the boss of Tropical Resort. He's named the Rotate Rotatatron or something like that. It's hey, he's a Ferris wheel. He rotates, so it's the Rotatatron. It's something like that. And now all, all we need to do for this boss is you know just hit him in the center, which with the laser wisp, boom, ba boom, ba boom. boom. And he's already over! As I was saying, or I was going to say before the boss starts, but I let you show him, the bosses in Sonic Colors are really, really easy. <laughs> I, I beat him in a matter of, t like, less than 30 seconds. I, if I don't get an S rank for this... Come on! Yeah. Come on! Yeah! We got our S rank! Oh, yes! Yeah, I could say we did a super job, a super sonic job, oh boy! Oh, I started stopping all right, and then both of them started with S! Yes, and I got the S! <sighs> Who you calling nothing? Oh, there you are. Where'd you run off to? I did a little shopping, grabbed a bite to eat, and trashed a giant killer robot. Oh. Really? And they've got shopping here, too? This place has everything. Hey, so how's your translator thingy coming along? Uh, I think it's done. It's in binary code, so only I can read it. Okay, ask away. <clears throat> Who are you, and what is happening to your people? <laughs> okay. He says his name is Talks a lot, and he's from a faraway soda, and where flowers water them with dances. Yeah, uh, I think your machine still has some bugs. Yeah, I think I can figure this out though. Okay, he said his name is Yacker. He's from a race of beings called Wisps. Wisps? No, Wisps with a W. Yeah, I'll just stick with aliens if that's okay with everybody. Oh, sure. So anyway, they're either being used for their magical powers by an evil man, or to make underwear to be worn by Sally. Oh. And just here, save them, save them over and over. When I was running around trashing robots, I saw a map that had a couple of interesting places. I think I'll go check them out, and maybe save some aliens. Send a wrangle out for a piece of this mess. When you consider what we're doing from a robot's point of view, it's actually pretty gruesome. Don't think about it. If you say so. I'm missing an arm. Have you got an arm? No, but really, how much can it matter? I guess it can't matter much.
So yes, we have now unlocked two more areas for us to explore, but before we do that, we have a, I have a couple things I'd like to show off. First off, we have this thing over here, which is... It's called the Sonic Simulator. It's basically the multiplayer thing for this mode. And, uh, I mean, I'm not gonna be showing off here, but I'm kinda just gonna be showing off a couple more extra features in this episode, because there's a couple things I wanna point out. First off, the thing that Cubot said, the, the square yellow robot with the whole thing with the cleaning up robots being pretty gruesome from his point of view, I'd like to point out how brilliant that is, like, I, ne <laughs> I never thought about it until that cutscene, but whenever, like, there's these robot lackeys that have to clean up create destroyed robots, that is pretty gruesome. And secondly, I feel like Eggman, Groose, uh, Groose? I didn't know Groose was in this game. Eggman, Orbot, and Cubot would be the perfect, perfect, like, Three Stooges cosplayer at some sort of a convention. Like, I could totally see Eggman as, like, Mo, and then... Cubot is Curly and then Larry is Orbot. Like, I could entirely see that. That is something I thought of. I, I figured I might as well. You know what? Why not? I'll show. I'm showing off all these different things. I'll show off all the different things. I don't. I don't know. I'm just showing off things in the, the menu. You can see the cutscenes. You can make your me or icon. I don't even know what this does. Oh, this is records. But yeah, my friend code doesn't exist because I'm not playing on a Nintendo Wii. I'm playing on a Wii U. So. Yeah, I figured I'd show those things off, and uh, I guess we can get a sneak peek on what our next world will be. And here we go, and as you can kind of see here from the area map, there are a couple aliens that will be able to free Wisps, as they were formally introduced to in this episode. I know I kind of said their name in the last episode, but I'm very sorry, I'm very sorry, but... Yeah, we in this episode, we definitely did get to see Eggman's true intentions of him trying to capture those aliens and all that stuff. So I guess you could say he cho he showed his true colors. <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to end it off with that. This has been Patreon23. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Sonic Colors. And the next episode, we'll be heading off to this area, which I won't give you the name of quite yet. But we'll be heading off to the first level in it. And that'll be next time. So, once again, this has been Patronix123. Remember to comment with your question of the Dedenne answer and any other things you want to talk to me in the comments about. But remember to do that. I really appreciate it. Any support is always, always appreciated. So, one last time, this has been Patronix123. And I hope you guys have a good day. See you all next time on Sonic Colors. Alright, bye.